Can you tell me how the idea for this workshop came about? Well, this workshop was kind of special. It came out came about in the beginning of my uh, guest editorship at the Journal of Cell Science from discussions with yourself and with Michael Way about how we could capture this excitement we have for this emerging and um, rapidly advancing field of 3D cell biology. The goal was to be able to capture that excitement in a very interactive format. We did a special issue focused on this topic in the Journal of Cell Science, but that special issue then captures a record of what was done. The goal here was to bring in a set of people interested in the ideas from multiple perspectives and allow them to really interact very closely in an intimate setting here at Whiston House. And what were you hoping to achieve overall? The most important outcome that this meeting could have, from my point of view, is to catalyze long-lasting interactions between investigators who would not not otherwise have met each other. That they would come here to Whiston House, um, interact closely over several days, recognize common lines of biology across seemingly disparate fields, and catalyze new research directions that result in significant advances in our understanding of developmental biology and cancer. And what, what's special about the setup of this particular workshop? I think what's really unique, I, I attend a number of meetings in a year, and what's really unique here is the, the lovely setting, the deep experience that both the company of biologists and Wilton Park have in catalyzing meaningful interactions among delegates. With the help of the workshop team and my co-organizers, John and Peter, we were able to think really hard about how to maximize the interactions and not just the, the, the fact that people were talking, but the depth of the communication, the depth of the interaction between the, the delegates um, and among the delegates during each of the sessions. The people who are starting labs are people who have an interesting biological problem but also have built a new tool. Uh, when I got my job, a biological problem was enough, and now most of the early career people are really thinking with an engineer's brain, uh, with a mathematician's brain, what have you, to, to build new ways to, to get at the question. And so I think it's really important to have them here. There is no way to get closer to the pumping heart of science um, than in this place with this few people top-notched scientists who are established, the future top-notched scientists who are on their way. Um, I'm amazed how well it works. Can you tell me a little bit about how you decided to organize the, the topics for the workshop? Um, I wanted to bring together people who were working at the absolute cutting edge of 2D cell biology, absolute cutting edge of 3D and organotypic and organoid biology, and the absolute cutting edge of in vivo model systems research. to really bring these people together, cross-fertilize the techniques and the concepts so that we could advance the field. So one of the wonderful things about this workshop is that mix of more established and, um, and more junior scientists. And one of the nice things about how it was set up was that everyone was equal. I think it's great that you have a very small format in which you not only bring like sort of the established scientists, but really bring the early career scientists in. I, I'm, I'm impressed by their presentations actually. This has been a really fantastic conference to come to. Uh, the warmness and openness of all the investigators, regardless of your seniority, has been really fantastic. I like the um, relaxed feeling, that, so there's a lot of informal interactions and I enjoy the, the way the meeting is actually organized, like in the room, so that you can all sit around and then you move around to different groups. It's, it's been terrific. Um, probably one of the most highly connected workshops that I've ever been to. I mean, everyone is really engaged with each other. Uh, I think many uh, uh, people have presented uh, unpublished data and uh, really showed uh, problems in their work and uh, unsolved questions. So it's been uh, uh, really uh, good also for the students to learn that uh, not to only hear of, of the polished stories, but also what's the problems uh, behind. My own research will, will benefit from this workshop in the sense that I've learned more advanced imaging techniques, more advanced analytical techniques, and new concepts for how to think about intercellular cooperativity and tissue and organ development and pathogenesis. I'll take away several new ways of analyzing complex cell behaviors and know how to ask questions that we've wanted to in the past, but we just haven't known the way forward. Um, a couple of collaborations. Um, which is always fantastic. Many new ideas, many new, new contacts and collaborations. I think a, a couple of things. One, that people are interested in my research, which is really fantastic. But two, not to be afraid to share your research with people and get feedback. If I had to sum up this meeting in one word, I would say eye-opening.
uh, congenial, stimulating, definitely stimulating. Open and supportive dialogue. Engaging, intelligent, and enjoyable. On behalf of my co-organizers and I, I'd like to thank the company of biologists for offering us the opportunity to organize this workshop.